Hello, welcome to the Softron Virtual Exhibition. I'm David, and today I have something really cool for Blackmagic ATEM Switcher users, because now you can use on-the-air video as a hyperdeck. So if you know the ATEM switchers, you can control a hyperdeck and have your video there. Well, now with on-the-air video, you can do the same thing. The hyperdeck emulation on on-the-air video and on-the-air video express works on all the ATEM models, including the minis. So today you can see that we have the mini, but we're going to use the ATEM Television Studio Pro 4K for our demonstration. Now, on-the-air video will really boost your video playback capabilities because we can support mix and match codecs and resolutions. Yes, a ProRes 4K clip and a 720 MP4 works perfectly in playlists and we can handle all that. All of the clips can be easily replaced and if you use folder-based playlists, content can be added or removed instantly, remotely with a watch folder. And you can have graphics into those playlists. So that's really great if you know you want your graphics to play at a certain time in the video. That way you don't have to control it on your switcher. It's going to do it automatically. So this is a really cool feature. So let's dive right into it. So I have my playlist in on-the-air video already open. And let's start there. We're going to go to Preferences and under Triggers. Okay, so we have the ATEM TriCaster trigger. Now that's been in the on-the-air video code for quite a while, so you've seen that. And it says use an external video mixer to trigger playback. Now how this worked is we were looking at the ATEM and we would go live, or I should say when you put on-the-air video in program, we'd start playing. And when you took us off program, we could do things like stop clip when off air or auto cue next clip. Because all you had to tell the switcher was what input we were. But now with the HyperDeck emulation, you could still use those triggers. We're going to turn that on and you get to say which playlist. So you're going to see it inside the ATEM. But before we get there, I want to show you this, which playlist to publish. The playlist to publish has two different options. There's front playlist or any other playlist that's open. Front playlist means that's the playlist that is selected. So that's kind of cool. Say if you had multiple playlists with different organizations or categories of clips, when you click on that playlist and make it active, the hyperdeck in the ATEM will change to show that. If you use the set playlist like this, that means that playlist will always be active to the hyperdeck. So as you're making changes to the playlist, it'll automatically update. That could be good in the different uh, a different scenario. Say if you wanted to have a playlist and add items to it from other playlists, maybe as a pool, so you could keep adding items to that playlist and just be able to manipulate it as you need. So there's a lot of cool ways to do this. And we're even gonna show you how you can use a folder-based playlist as your published playlist. And right here we have pause on stop. That is a default setting in the hyperdeck. And so we have it there in case you'd wanna turn it off. Okay, now let's set it up in our ATEM. We're gonna to go to this gear and in the hyperdeck. Now I already have my IP address here. The ATEM will only look once for the IP address. So there's a solution to that. Say if it doesn't connect it to the first time, you can just change the address real quick and change it back and hit connect. Input on the air video. I've set auto roll and offset of six frames. Now let's talk about why six frames offset. Now I am controlling on the air video, but my ATEM switcher is actually over a Wi-Fi network. So that's why there's a little bit of a delay. So when I take it, I'm giving time for that signal to get to on the air video and say, start playing. So would you really want your ATEM and Wi-Fi? No, but I just want to show you that it is possible that we will still work with it and you can use that offset to make it happen. So that's how we have that six frames delay. That means your program of on the air video won't hit the switcher bus until it starts playing. That's what you're using that for. Okay, back onto our desktop. Let's look here. We see HyperDeck on the air video. Let's go down and we see the three clips that are in our playlist. So when I click on that item, it immediately cues it. Okay, so now I wanna show you what the computer is doing with the ATEM user interface and what the ATEM's output is. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go and click my media and you can see here that it's already queued. And now I'm going to hit cut on my ATEM and the video starts playing. 
Okay, I'm going to cut away. And immediately inside the on your video instance, it has already queued that next clip because that's what we set it to do in the ATEM trigger. Okay, let's look back at that. Cut again. Video starts playing. We have a graphic coming up. Now let's go over that in just a moment. I'm going to cut away. It gets our next clip ready. And we're going to cut back to it. Okay, so this is really cool. So you're seeing the graphic come up. That's because it is part of the clip as an action. So I'm going to show you how you can set that up. In here, if you do get info, I have an action. And there's a few different ways to do this. Now with an action, you can set the start time and you can set the action and the parameter. Now here I'm just saying a, a circus back in town and I'm putting it at one second. There's many different ways to do graphics, but the actions allows you to time it when it's going to start. So this is great if you do have, say, a, a package of interviews and you need to super uh, specific people who are talking, or maybe you have a courtesy because you're using a video from a different company or a third party and you need to put that there. So you can use that to make this all work in your video and it's non-destructive. So you don't have to re-edit your video to add graphics. It means you can just keep changing it. This is really helpful because now your video is protected and it's part of the playlist. You don't have to worry about it. Director and graphic doesn't have to be involved to make sure the graphic hits at the right time. Now let's show you a different aspect of it. We're going to do a folder-based playlist. What's great about that is the watch folder will automatically add or remove clips as you change it on the shared storage. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to go in the on-year video, new folder-based playlist. I'm going to choose my movies folder, open. There we go. There's a folder-based playlist. Now let me open my movies folder for you. Let me delete the first two. I have first three. Immediately removed from folder-based playlist. You can see now it starts with four, like it does here. And let me hit Apple Z, and they all come back. So that's really quick way to have your media inside of a playlist. Okay, so with the folder-based playlist, we're going to use the front playlist option in on the air video. That means it's always going to use whatever is selected and active. So let's take a look how that's done. Okay, in my on the air video preferences, I have front playlist selected now. So now I'm going to go into Hyperdeck and it's already changed it. Now I want to show you what happens as you start moving media because on the air video is smart enough to know when you're when you have media added, it's not going to adjust where you're playing. It's not going to remove items as they're playing. So it's going to protect you. So you don't have to worry about using a folder based playlist. In my ATEM, I have bars again on program and previews on the air video. I'm going to go to, let's say the third clip. Now let's show you what it looks like. Again, you're looking at the computer and the ATEM's output. So I'm going to hit cut and you see the video is playing in on your video right here. And that was a short clip. Now let's cut again and cut back. Now I'm going to quickly go into our movies folder and get rid of the first three things. You can see that media is still playing. It didn't adjust it. And if I cut, it's going to get to the right thing and cut back. So you don't have to worry about changing your media. Let's add that media back and put it back in. Playlist is fine. So it's not going to mess up anything as you're going through. What if I was to delete the clip as it was playing? Won't affect it because on the air video will have that in its memory. It will know it wants to play this clip. So you don't have to worry about clips disappearing as you're playing them. Okay, so for this ATEM integration, the HyperDeck emulation by on the air video, I think this is so wonderful. Now that you have graphics tied to your video at specific times, you have folder-based playlists automatically building a playlist for you and then updating in time, inside of your ATEM switcher and that you can have all this all on one computer, your ATEM interface and your on-the-air video. That is such a win. You don't have to go guess what your HyperDeck is doing. It's right in front of you. And so even if you need to, you could just control the on-the-air video manually because it's a great graphic user interface as well. So you have 
these powerful tools now all in one interface. And it makes it so easy to say, I could bring a MacBook, a Mac mini, or whatever Mac model you have that you might be already controlling with your ATEM. Now that's where your video is coming from too. So this makes the whole process so much simpler. And we think it's such a great addition to on-the-air video. So thank you for joining us for this Softron Virtual Exhibition. Thank you for watching. <laughs>